We understand that making a decision to buy a home can be particularly overwhelming experience. From understanding the difference between condos and HOA and multifamily homes to finding a home, placing out the contract, inspections and negotiations. That's why I want to briefly go through some of the steps that we take to set you in the right path to finding your dream home. First step, let's connect you with one of our team agents that can help you start the process, have a consultation with you to go over your wants, your needs, your criteria, so we can start putting the right properties in front of you. Second step would be to partner you up with one of our team lenders to help you understand more about the mortgage process, inform you with the products that are out there, and a closer look to what the interest rates are going to be so you can start taking advantage of some of the rates available today. And the third step, once we have found some properties that meet our needs, next would be to go ahead and schedule a tour for in-person viewing so we can get a better feel of how the properties that meet your criteria are going to feel once you go and take a look at them. It's crucial to understand that properties feel much different in person than they do when viewing them online. Sometimes, Photos can be deceiving. A lot of times we've gone out with clients and seen properties that they were not as interested during the photos. However, once we visit them in person, they seem to be the perfect home for them. So it's important that we go ahead out there and take a look at homes right away. And the fourth step, and by this time, we probably have identified some properties that meet your needs. And hopefully your dream home. At this point, we will help you put an offer together, which would be the best deal for you to help you secure the property. Once we have completed all the negotiations, in the fifth step, it means that the seller would need to sign the agreement of sale. And once they've signed it, we're officially under contract. This means that you are, have to get ready to submit your first escrow deposit that will be contingent to the sale of the property. Once we are on the contract, the sixth step would be to go ahead and schedule inspection. Usually we have a set amount of days per the agreement to go ahead and do our due diligence. And during our due diligence, we will have a home inspector go ahead thoroughly throughout the property and test all the function of the home to be able to inform you with any major issues or how some of the utilities work and function in the property. Once that inspection period has been completed, we will either accept the property as is, or it gives us an opportunity to go ahead and negotiate for some repairs or credit. If you're buying a condo or a home that's part of an HOA, during this time in being under contract, it's when we would normally receive the condominium documents that allow us to assess the financial health of the building or the HOA and review the rules and regulations that come with the community. Once we have negotiated and completed the inspection to deal period, the eighth step would be for the bank to finalize your loan. At this time, they have ordered appraisal and hopefully we should be receiving appraisal value back and have submitted all outstanding documents that would need to complete your loan entirely and get it cleared to close. While your loan is being cleared, this is a really good time to go ahead and finalize your homeowner's insurance so you have it in place before closing. As a 10th step, we've probably been on the contract for three or four weeks. This is where we'll reach out to title to make sure that we have a title search commitment available to us and the property is being delivered to you free and clear of any liens or judgments. Step number 11, at this point, we have clear to close from the lender and we have clear to close from the title company. This is where we would normally want to have settlements scheduled by then. So we can go ahead and do our closing where you would receive your keys of the home. Once we have scheduled settlement and getting closer to closing date, this is what we want to make sure that we have a final walkthrough scheduled. Typically, this is done either the day of or the day before. What we're doing here is that we are inspecting that the physical condition of the property is the same as it was when you submitted the offer initially. On the day of closing, you and the seller will sign all the paperwork, making sure the seller is transferring ownership from theirs to yours. This will finalize all mortgage paperwork and deed paperwork and will be recorded with the city by the title company. And the last step is your closing. So that means you closed and congrats, this is your home. So these are the simple steps to how to get started in the home buying process all the way to going on the contract, your dream home, from contract to close. Our dedicated agents and our team are ready to start helping you step-by-step step to finding your dream home and advising you through the entire process of being on the contract and helping you negotiate the best terms for the best deal for you. So text or call our team to get the process started.